Buckle up. Because Carpool Karaoke is back. After a two-year hiatus, James Corden's viral video series is back with the one and only Nicki Minaj. Riding in the passenger seat with the Late Late Show host, Minaj began her 17-minute-long Carpool Karaoke session by gleefully rapping Anaconda alongside a hyped-up Corden. You see how meaningful the words are, Minaj said after the song, veering slightly into a romance revenge your British accent. Corden called her out on it, telling Minaj that her British accent sounds like Adele and then asking her to do an Adele impression. I go viral for basically anything, joke Minaj in her best Adele voice. Before recreating the viral meme of Adele ignoring the camera while sitting front row at a Lakers game, Adele loomed large over Minaj carpool karaoke experience, Minaj and Corden dub into Minaj iconic monster verse, which Adele famously also rapped during her edition of carpool karaoke, and Minaj, and Corden even sang a bit of Adele's Someone Like You a cappella. And after explaining to Corden what the term op meant in slang for opposition, and determining that Corden's neighbor's dog would not be considered one of his ops, Minaj and Corden broke into a rousing rendition of her pop hit Super Bass. Corden then challenged Minaj to freestyle about their carpool ride as he beatboxed along. To hilarious results, I thought we were done. We were doing it for fun. I just pushed out my son. James don't be dumb, rapped Minaj over Corden's mediocre beatboxing. I never felt that white in my life. Corden admitted after the failed experiment. Minaj also opened up about her struggles with confidence after sharing with Corden that she chews on ice to manage her anxiety. I think when I was younger, my more natural state was to be more confident. But when you're a woman and you're in the public eye all the time, you're not careful. You can become less confident because you're being constantly scrutinized, she said. I just don't think it's natural. It's not natural for human beings to always feel like everyone's critiquing them. When I first came into the industry, I had this amazing sense of freedom, said Minaj, because nobody gave a shit about what I was doing. I could get away with doing anything. And then it goes from that to the complete, complete opposite, where it's like, if I blink my eye wrong, they'll have a story made up about why I blink my eye away. But giving birth to her son in 2020 has helped manage that anxiety. When I look at my son, I am just magically in love, said Minaj. He makes me laugh, makes me smile, makes me happy. He's just so cute and cuddly.